my name is Bianca and welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I wanted to do some fall inspired looks. I took some pieces that I wore a lot in the summer and I kind of just incorporated them with like trending pieces for fall. Naturally, some are more summery than others and with it being the beginning of the season, I didn't really do too many like cold weather looks so you're not gonna see any like turtlenecks or like wool coats yet but I'll definitely do more styling videos with pieces like that later in the season. But with all that being said, let's jump right in. Okay, so for this first look, I took a plain white t-shirt dress. During the summer, I'd probably just pair this with like crew socks and my Air Force Ones, but to make it more fall inspired, I just threw on this oversized faux leather jacket. This one is from Misguided and I paired it with these faux leather knee-high boots from H&M and my small black leather shoulder bag of course. Leather is a big trend for fall this year and I thought this was just like a cool way to make it a little bit edgy and more like fall appropriate. Okay for this next one it's the same t-shirt dress but I threw on this black sweater vest from H&M. It's actually what I'm wearing right now. Then I paired it with my Doc Martens and I'm really loving the sweater vest trend. This way to style it I really liked and thought was like a perfect transitional way to style it because you can still wear it in warm weather and it's it's still pretty warm where I'm living so. Okay next we are still on the shirt dress trend but these ones are long sleeve button ups. So for the first one, it is this white satin dress and I paired it with these white faux leather knee-high boots and they're like a crocodile print and then also my white shoulder bag with gold hardware. This one is like pretty dressy. I know it's kind of like I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself because it brings me like winter whites vibes like it seems like something I might also wear during Christmas time but I just got these boots and I thought it was a cute way to style it so and who doesn't love a monochrome look can't go wrong with those either but okay next I have a similar dress but this one is cotton and I threw over a cream colored sweater vest, also from H&M, it's like the same one that I'm wearing here. And then I just paired it with, again, those black faux leather knee high boots from H&M. I didn't want to do another all white look, but I thought this was a cute way to do the sweater vest again, but with the button down. <music> skirts. For this first look, I'm sure you've seen outfits like this during the summer. It's kind of a trend that is carrying over from summer. But I'm wearing a collared shirt with a pink crew neck sweatshirt over it. And the sweatshirt's really like oversized, so it kind of drapes over the skirt, which is just like a really cute way to wear it. And so normally, I think in the summer, I'd probably wear it with like my white sneakers. So to just make it a little bit more fall appropriate, I switched out my normal Air Force Ones for these black loafers. And this is a first for me to style loafers, so I hope it looks okay, but I think I've seen looks like this already, so I think I'm on the right track. Okay, for this next one, I paired my tennis skirt with a cropped cardigan and my Doc Martens. I think a oversized cardigan would have went well here too, but I just wanted to switch it up a little bit and this way you can show off more of your skirt if that's what you're into. And it might be a little bit more summery with the cropped sweater instead of an oversized, but I think it's still a really good like transitional way to style it. baby doll dresses. So first I'm wearing this cream one and I paired it with the black knee-high boots. Normally I probably would have worn it with like strappy heels or something. my black 
black baby doll dress and just like wore it the same way. I think the white is just more of like a transitional piece and the black is more in season. <music> Okay, next I'm styling bodycon dresses. So this first one is this tank dress that I have a whole video dedicated to. But this one I threw on my corduroy jacket, as they call it, just like a shirt jacket. And I think normally I would have worn this with, again, like strappy heels or my white sneakers, but instead I wanted to wear it with my Doc Martens and tied it together with my shoulder bag, of course. Okay, and this next dress is this brown ruse dress that has like tie detailing on each side. I am loving brown this season. I think it's like the perfect color for fall. I've obviously loved like neutrals, you can't tell. But anyway, so for this dress, I threw on my oversized black blazer and tied it with the black knee high boots and of course the shoulder bag. This was just like kind of a warmer way to wear it and I actually am really liking these shorter hem dresses with like knee high boots this season. Okay, next up I'm styling shoulder pad tops or like muscle shirts, however you wanna call it. But I think normally in the summer maybe they'd be paired with like denim shorts, pretty casual, maybe some heels. But so for the first look, I am wearing this white one from Zara and I tucked it into this mini skirt that I got from Princess Polly and I tied it together with the black knee high boots and my shoulder bag. I thought it was a cute way to make the shoulder top a little dressy and like it's like a classy dressy way to style it. And of course the knee high boots just kind of make it more fall inspired so I thought that was cute. <music> I'm wearing the same shirt but in black and this is like a really edgy way that I styled it which I really liked. I paired it with my black high-waisted painter pants and like cuffed them with my Doc Martens. I just really love this look. Again another monochrome look. It's all black but I just love how edgy it is. So I tucked the shirt in to the high-waisted pants and with the shoulder top it just like really accentuates your waistline which I really liked. So I thought this was a fun look. Switch it up a little bit. Okay, for these next two outfits, I took a white crop top and my baggy blue jeans from Urban. Actually, they're both from Urban. I like lived in this outfit over the summer. I just loved the crop top with the baggy jeans. I couldn't get enough of it. So, of course, I had to throw that in. For the first look, I threw on my faux leather jacket, oversized, of course, and tied it together with my Doc Martens. I thought this, again, was just like a cute, edgy way to style it, make it a little bit more fall appropriate. Paired it with a shoulder bag, of course. And then for the second look, I actually kept my Air Force Ones on for this one. I figured I should throw them in at least once. And to make it fall inspired, I just threw on this trench coat. I just got it from Urban. It was on sale. I thought it was like a really easy way to make it fall inspired and then to keep it casual I paired it with my snakeskin backpack that I got from Princess Polly. Just another like neutral piece to tie together. And then last but not least, it's actually the outfit I'm wearing but you can't tell I'm wearing the jeans. But it is, again, it's like a mixture of a few styles I did, but it is the white t-shirt dress with the black sweater vest, my baggy jeans, and my Air Force Ones. This one is just like your full out dad style. Like, you want to be comfortable, it's like super baggy, really like street style appropriate. <laughs> outfits for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. Please let me know down below if you had any favorite looks, but if you like this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. 
if you want to see more of my videos. Also, feel free to follow me on Instagram. You can find me at Bianca Doliana. I post a lot of fashion content and you'll see a lot of similar looks to the ones that were shared today. But yeah, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.